Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is totally bombshell when it comes to the 17 billion oil deal saga. As the truth is coming out, is that 17 billion Kenya shillings did not come from the pocket of the business woman and Jerry. This 17 billion Kenya shillings came from the government and government coffers. And the reason why this 17 billion Kenya shillings was being given to Anjeri, there was a kind of deal of some individuals in this government that they were going to take this 17 billion Kenya shillings. So their plans were this way. And because oil, according to the pull and push in between Anjeri and Galana Oil Company, is that the truth is coming out, as we are being told, that Anjeri was given 17 billion Kenya shillings from the public coffers to her, for her, was to go, she was to import the oil. Then after importing the oil, then she was to return these 17 billion Kenya shillings, not again in the public coffers, but these individuals who came out withdrawing 17 billion Kenya shillings from the Ministry of the Energy. And this oil, uh, this 17 billion Kenya shillings is being withdrawn at the time where William Ruto is the president. Number two, at the time where the cabinet ministers of William Ruto are full in control of their ministries. So when this 17 billion Kenya shillings was being withdrawn and given to Anjeri to go and use that money to import the oil, then after importing the oil, then she must come out to sell the oil. After selling the oil, her duty is to return back the money to these two cabinet ministers whom we are not being told their names. At the same time, the cabinet minister of energy, David Chirchir and Kimchumba Murkomen, who is the cabinet minister of road and transport, are coming out to defend the Galana Oil Company, that that oil belongs to Galana Oil Company, but in truth is that the oil belongs to Anjeri, but the money he, she used to import that oil was not her money. Because when you look at even the rhetoric story that came from her mother, from the mother of Anjeri, the mother she, said, she never knew that Anjeri was a billionaire. In other words, is that this 17 billion Kenya shillings was from public coffers. Anjeri, to do business, then returned the money. And now the money, at the way it was withdrawn from the public coffers, was not to go back to the public coffers. This was now to go back to the few individuals' pockets. And this deal is being linked to certain two cabinet ministers whom they are not coming out to expose for us. So these 17 billion shillings was for subsidies which um, was to the... It was the money to subsidize certain private business enterprise but later on this was not to go back to the public coffers. In other words, this was simply corruption. So, the truth is coming out as we are being told that Anjeri was unable to have that money. She was not the owner of the money. So even if you're looking and seeing the kind of dramas, is that these people are just trying to uh, cover up. You know, they're just trying to cover up. So I want you to watch I want you to watch an inclusive details from the KTN 
news. Watch the new content. Million shillings diesel consignment did not come from the pockets of businesswoman Anna Njeri Njoroge. It has further emerged that the oil does not even belong to Galana Energy's oil company, as claimed by Cabinet Secretaries David Chirchir and Kipchumba Murkomen. An investigation trailing the billions of shillings suspects that the money that have been unlawfully withdrawn from public coffers given to Njeri to order the consignment, sell the oil and return clean 17 billion shillings to those who gave her the money. The investigation describes an injury as a front of the haste through which billions of shillings were cleaned and laundered. KTN's David Muthoka reports on how billions of public money may have been taken from the public coffers to conduct a billion shillings dirty deal that has Anjerin Joroge at the eye of the storm. In September last year, when the Ministry of Energy and Petroleum withdrew from the Consolidated Fund 16 billion shillings, purportedly for subsidies to private financial enterprises. Four months later, in January this year, the same ministry withdrew from the Consolidated Fund some 9 billion shillings also for subsidies to private financial enterprises. Then, in June this year, at the closure of the previous financial year, the Petroleum Ministry withdrew from the same consolidated fund, 17 billion shillings, that was also subsidies to private financial enterprises. It is the questionable 17 billion shillings that an investigation by Busia Senator Okiyom Tata suspects did not go to subsidies, but rather into the pockets of one Anjerin Joroge. What for, Omtata suspects, to order a 17 billion shilling consignment of diesel from overseas and clean the money by selling the oil locally and returning the billions of shillings to those who gave her. Only that this time the money will not go back to the public coffers but to their pockets. In his investigation, Omtata names two cabinet secretaries who have refuted that the oil belonged to Anjoroge and maintained that it belongs to Galana Energy's oil company as persons of interest. According to the Busia senator, there is a direct correlation between the 17 billion shillings, which was unconstitutionally withdrawn from the consolidated fund in June 2023, to subsidize unnamed private financial enterprises and the contested 17 billion shillings between Anne Jerry and the two cabinet secretaries. He says that he reasonably suspects that Anne Jerry, who from all indications could not and cannot raise the 17 billion shillings which was used to purchase the fuel, is the private financial enterprises that received the 17 billion shillings from the Ministry of Petroleum in June this year. Omtata further alleges that the contested shipment of fuel is the product through which the money is being cleaned or laundered. He continues by challenging the two cabinet secretaries to stop fooling the nation and come clean on their relationship with Anjeri, whom he reasonably believes is their front in the heist, but whom they have fallen out with. In his report, the senator adds that the relationship between the 17 billion shilling consignment of diesel and the 17 billion shillings paid in subsidies cannot be denied unless the two cabinet secretaries make a once and all full disclosure of the identity of the private financial enterprises which benefited from the money. The two cabinet secretaries are yet to make... Now, when you look at that story clear, and that is why I told you in a certain video here, these people are doing business with oil. Or rather, let me say petroleum products. Then when we are seeing, ladies and gentlemen, you think that you don't have evidences. The reality is, nothing like William Ruto's government is making energy to ensure that the prices of oil are going to go down. As you can see, the kind of gushy businesses that these people are doing it is simply telling us the reality, what this government is capable of. As the 17 billion Kenyan shillings was withdrawn, July, 
this year, William Ruto was the president. His cabinet ministers were full control of the ministries. So when the Ministry of Energy came out with drawing 17 billion Kenyan shillings to subsidize a private business enterprise, this was with their knowledge that they were going to use this money and squander the public resources. So Kumbe, Uyu, Mama, Ako Tumbele hapo for cover up. But he pesa ilikuwa inaibua. Na kwa sababu umejua kuma hii kitu inajulikana. That is why when Angeri was abducted, aliachiliwa. Mbona haku malizwa, haku awa, aliachiliwa. Because the certain right authorities from the above came out saying that uyo mama haachiliwa. As this is something, an investigation that is in DCI, the reality is there's something that we are being denied and we want to know about the truth. Because for us, as Anjiri is unable to, ha to raise that 17 billion Kenya shillings, ata mama yake, mama ya Anjiri alikuja akasema ala, Miss James jena yangu ni billionaire. You want to tell me Mama ya Anjeri, kama Anjeri ni business uma na kona pesa, mutaku niambia mama yake wezi jua, si mama yake tajua. So, sisi tunadanganywa, ukweli wa mambo, we are being denied the truth. And the truth relies with the cabinet minister of energy, David Chirchir, and their counterparts. Because you saw, David Chirchir and Murkomen are coming out to defend Galana Oil Company. So that they can benefit from those. That, in other words, this 17 billion Kenya shillings is a consignment that did not come from the pockets of businesswoman and Jerry Joroge. As it is emerging that the billions of shillings used to order the controversial 17 billion Kenya shillings diesel was from the public coffers. And the intention was some two cabinet ministers were to consume this. So that is the reality. And the reality and truth is so painful for some individuals. Then for them, they are coming out to tell us they have their knowledge and wisdom on how they are going to run the country. They don't. You want to run a biashara after after Kumaliza, you want to run a you want to billionaire. Hata kama muta piga kura against them, you want to run a pesa. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video.